seriously f on a tone. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I Welcome back, my little spoons. What am I doing every time? I'm too theater for camera. Always with my hands. It's like theater in Italian. All in my hands. Take 479. Welcome back, my little spoons. On today's episode of Free Unsolicited Cooking Knowledge, I'll be making homemade panettone. I turned 30 right at the very end of 2020. You know, as soon as we went right back into lockdown. Great. <laughs> specifically on the 28th, that's when my birthday is. And my beautiful showbiz best friend, Maria, if you wanna check out my other channel that has a few episodes of the Liliana Maria show. Well, you just, just head on over there. She did a drop by of balloons and beautiful, amazing cookies that I only had barely half of one because Cody ate the entire container. Yeah, I don't eat that all in one sitting. Anyway, cookies are delicious, Maria. We love them, and you brought me Starbies, and I love that. Can we just talk about how, I don't even know what it is. Is it the nitro foam from Starbucks or whatever? You go to take a sip from the container and it shocks you. If it shocks you, can you comment below? I think that Maria and I are the only crazy people that get shocked. I don't know what it is. Anyway, thanks, Maria. I really appreciate it. You made my 30th birthday exciting. <laughs> considering uh, we're just sitting in our house doing nothing. So today I'm making panettone. I forgot to mention this while filming. Panettone is an Italian sweetbread that usually comes out around the holidays and or around Easter. And it has dried fruit, sometimes chocolate chips, and it comes in many different flavors. I have never made this recipe. I've never made bread before. This is a very intimidating recipe. I literally printed it off someone else's website. I think his name is Ricardo. I will put the link down below because I am not taking full credit for this recipe. I just wanted to try it. I want to try new things in 2021. I'm not settling. We may be in lockdown, but hell, I'm going to learn some skills while I'm here and hope you enjoy the journey with me. For this panettone, usually a lot of recipes that I looked up on Google said that it needed like eight hour rise time. I don't have that kind of time because I don't want to do a two day filming because I'm lazy. <laughs> And that's just the truth. I printed off instructions. I don't even know where to begin. It's, I'm so overwhelmed by this. I kind of prepped a lot of the ingredients beforehand because I know it's gonna be a long process. I'm sorry you didn't get to see me crack eggs and throw shell in a bowl like I always do. We're gonna go through this step by step. I'm gonna list off the ingredients in case you wanna write them down. I was going to actually verbally list them off, but I figure I could just pause it and read it over and then you can write it down or screenshot it. That's what I do sometimes too. Now the funny thing is, about the mixed dried fruit. I wanted to make traditional panettone, but we all know who loves the sweets in this house, and that is Cody. Okay, and he wanted to do chocolate chips instead. Well, here we go. Number one from Mr. Ricardo. In a bowl, whisk together the water, egg yolk, eggs, zest, and vanilla. Oh my god, I almost shattered the bowl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> So number two from Ricardo, in a stand mixer, fitted with a dough hook, combine the flour, sugar, yeast, and salt, which I did. Add the egg mixture and knead until the dough starts to form. Add the butter and let knead for five minutes. All right, guys, it's that time again, you know, where I have to post a disclaimer. Basically, my crew wasn't really paying attention to the footage and it was all blurry. So it is blurry from here on out. Sorry, I am still learning. Hopefully you enjoy the rest. This, this is what we're looking at. It's very, very sticky. Okay, okay, okay. The dough will be soft and very sticky. So we're on the right track. <laughs> Place in a lightly oiled bowl, cover with lightly oiled plastic wrap, and then let rise for an hour and a half. I have some paper towel and I'm just going to drizzle some olive oil on it. And I'm just going to wipe down this bowl. I don't even know how to attempt to, like, I guess, scoop this down. Well, here it goes. Oh my gosh. This is worse than a Kapot's birthday cake. Okay, okay. Oh, I should have oiled my spatula. Oh god. This is motherfucking heavy. <laughs> oh god. 
my shoulder. <laughs> my wrist, I can't do this. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Guys, calm down. Everyone calm down, okay? Okay. <sighs> you know what? F it. Like, that's fine. We, we got the majority in there. Okay. Why does everyone in any type of cooking show or anything, it's like this perfect, beautiful ball before it starts to rise? And this is real, people. Oh, my box broke. All right, so now lightly oil this. Oh, okay. 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 Oh my. I put a hole in it. It's okay, guys. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Is it okay? I think. I'm sorry. Do people actually enjoy doing this? Okay. Oh, don't about me you know sometimes i hate i'm italian and grew up italian to attempt these awful recipes okay 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 progress my hands are too freaking greasy oh that's greasy that's really fucking greasy yeah it's greasy oh just stick uh, just stick i'm gonna do one more layer sorry ricardo if you're watching this you know I know you can't really see it because I had to use two frickin' plastic things. It's 5.52. 5.52, so then at 6.52, so 7.20, 28? 7.38, 7.20, no, 7.18? I don't know, math. I'm debating if I should soak the chocolate chips now. No, 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 I'm gonna do it beforehand. Anyway, I will be back. <laughs> I just want to preface this by saying I don't f***ed up. I read ahead before starting this. I did. I think I just didn't like register. The next aspect of this is you add the soaked fruit in with the mix. And then I, the smart gal that I am, thought that was it. And then you just put it in the oven 40 minutes, which is still a lot of time, but Turns out that after you mix in your fruit and put it in your panettone muffin paper, essentially, you gotta let it proof for another hour 15. Yeah, you gotta let it proof for another hour 15. <laughs> and I'm in way over my head. I think I had a lot more ambition earlier in the day. I immediately regret this decision. I'm really starting to think that cooking shows are fake. Like the, the ones that are all pretty and really done up, they're fake. And I get the cooking magic because it's already been done, but it's still fake. So Ricardo, this is on you, but it is on me that I didn't read it needed to sit for another hour 15, so. In another bowl, soak the dried fruit in rum, stirring several times while the dough is rising. Oh my, I should just drink this the night I'm having. <laughs> Dump that in. We need a win, okay? We need a win now because it's been a journey. They're sitting, they're soaking, and the failure continues. An hour and a half of the evening and it's still not over. Okay, no, okay, okay, okay. All right, it like rose just a little bit. Fold the fruit and rum mixture into dough until it's completely incorporated. Let rise uncovered for an hour and 15 minutes. That is, that is something else. I hope you like it, Cody. I can't with this recipe. Well, oh, it tastes like I took the damn shot. I'm okay. Every college memory just shot back into my head. Everybody! There's a reason why people buy their ponitones, I'm telling you. Who cares the gyms are closed? Just mix ponitone mix, for Christ's sakes. Okay, now that that's incorporated, I can't even be, I can't even be fake happy right now. I just want to also say that I had to order this off Amazon. These are Ponitone cupcake thingies, but I'm starting to think it's not supposed to go in the oven. And I'm worried it's gonna catch on fire. I don't wanna try out our new extinguisher. <laughs> Place them in a hot oven and bake until your Ponitone bread and we'll be ready. There we go. It's there. It says it's oven safe. I swear to God, if there's a fire, I'm a soup. The traditional like brown and gold like ones, uh, they were $50 for two. Yeah, um, I'm not on that budget yet. I I am not sponsored yet. Sponsor me. Look how close. Sponsor me. So they had these Ukrainian style ones and this one happens to be creepy cherubs for Easter. This is the least creepiest of them all. We may or may not have a fire, so stay tuned. 
for that. Okay, I, I don't know how I'm gonna attempt to put it in here. That's what she said. Don't you dare. <gasps> I'm afraid. I'm too short. Come on. Oh dear. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. <gasps> okay. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I'm a millennial for a reason. I don't need to do this again when I'm just gonna buy it in the store, okay? Okay. Getting sassy. Getting sassy. I'm sorry. We did that. We did that. Nothing fell out. Nothing fell over. We're good. I'm a little afraid of how I'm gonna do this. All my baking in previous videos, I always put it on a baking sheet. Oh my God, is the f bottom falling out? I'm gonna leave it. If something happens to seep out the side, that's not my problem anymore. Not my problem, okay? It says to leave it for another hour 15. Uh, in the meantime, preheat your oven to 350. Make sure your rack is in the center because that's where we're gonna place it. Uh, I'll see you in a bit and hopefully we can fix this panettone. Yeah, whatever. Okay, well, I was watching TikTok for the last hour 15. It's a real addiction. I'm not sorry about it. This is what it looks like. It has risen above the edge of the paper. Now we're going to put it in the oven for 40 minutes. <laughs> I'm so exhausted. And uh, hopefully when we come back, it'll be done. BRB. Okay, I just took a peek at it. <laughs> Why would it go smoothly? I'm going to pull it and I'm going to show you how beautiful it really is. All right, uh, <laughs> here is the finished product. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see here, but the back is completely burnt. <laughs> this was 30 minutes. Oh, we're not done. Oh no. Now comes the fun part, which this is where I realized I needed skewers for, but who needs skewers when you got forks? While it's cooling, it has to hang upside down. It looks like the Chernobyl elephant foot. And if you don't know what I mean, here, I'll cut to it. Its discoverers nicknamed it the elephant's foot for its size and ghastly gray color. The elephant's foot became infamous in the wake of the Chernobyl disaster for being the largest amassment of corium ever assembled. And this is what that is. Oh, the cherubs are freaking burnt. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put two skewers parallel, then hang it upside down in a pot. And the reason you hang it upside down is so that the bread doesn't like collapse in on itself. It cools off with the gravity pulling it down and then you have that nice fluffy bread. Oh, oh I don't know if that's gonna work. This is a Cody, I might need your help. Oh no. Oh, it's not even done. It's so gooey. It's too heavy. I mean, it smells like Ponitone. Oh, I was so excited for this one too. I'll have to redo it. I'm not redoing this. I'm not, no. I, nope. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Just buy a Ponitone. I don't know why it burned. Ricardo, you're a f liar. He makes it look easy and it comes out all nice and like bread-like. And I followed this directly to his recipe. Like I don't even wanna wait for it to cool. Like I'm just done. I'm just done this video. Like I can't. It might've been just too much dough. I don't know anything about proofing. I don't know anything about bread. I don't know if maybe I let it sit for too long. What an adventure 2021 is turning out to be. It smells exactly like a Ponitone. So I guess that's good, right? Like I was on the right track. Well, this is 30. My piece of advice, just go buy a Ponitone. There's many different flavors. Anything you can imagine, it's out there. Oh, I'm never gonna do this again. Merry Christmas. Uh, Ricardo's a, a liar. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I keep dragging Ricardo, but he's probably a, a major chef or whoever you are. Maybe we'll collab one day. If you want a cake to specifically look like the elephant foot from Chernobyl, I got you. My mom will have a laugh and that's great. I'm glad I could bring laughter and fun. Thanks to my little spoons for all your support. I hope this year brings a lot better things than how this Ponitone turned out. For 2021, I'm going to try and navigate through healthier waters. That is the gift of giving myself this year, fueling for my body and not my heart. 
There will be desserts here and there. I have some things planned. Hopefully not a big fail like this. I just can't deal with the heartbreak. If you're new here, thank you for joining me for free unsolicited cooking knowledge. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment below. Maybe you're a bread maker, maybe you're Ricardo and you can tell me what I did wrong. I'll look at your other recipes. Maybe we can try something else. <laughs> Literally like on a tone. See ya.